the black presence in a majority white nation. Right, throughout the diaspora, throughout the African diaspora, the dominant repeated theme is a black minority presence in a white majority culture. If the democratic experiment is going to fulfill the possibilities associated with it, of what? This documentary mixes between telling from the subject, uh, Catlett, a Black sculptor, Black artist's point of view through use of her own individual accounts. And I think that made it really, really unique because it's always great to kind of hear from the horse's mouth, but also the point of view of others speaking about the biographical knowledge about um, this artist and retelling how, as a Black artist, her experiences shaped her art and shaped her life. Um, this documentary does well in teaching and giving and providing a lot of historical context, um, a lot of like a uh, well-known fact or little known facts rather like the friendship with Margaret Atwood and um, how she's a great influence and, and it touches on how segregation affected her as a teacher and as an artist. And then moving on to her time in Mexico, how that was extremely influential in her style of art as well. Um, it's very interesting seeing how the civil rights era affected her even while not being in the country and how she sort of was a part of this movement through her art and was connected to this movement through her art. And we have her point of view on this movement through her sculpture and through her pieces. And I thought that that was the, just a beautiful legacy to leave behind. Excellent documentary. I, I loved this dive into her legacy. Uh, just a visionary and talented artist and activist so much. Uh, her, her life seemed to have a thread interwoven through it that was so dedicated to activism and intentionality in her art. And uh, it, was, it was brilliant to get to see those those different threads being weaved um, from an uh, insider peek at her career to what shaped her to what ultimately her practices and her ethos and inspiration. Um, it was great to see what she created as an artist, but also I think it was really important that we got privy to the struggles and the hurdles she had to go through simply due to the color of her skin. Um, it was She's such a politically significant artist. I'm surprised I never learned about her earlier. So I'm hoping that for others into the art world, but also into politics and pioneers in uh, the political sphere, uh, we'll learn more about her and her legacy will continue. Um, really great sound footage throughout. I thought the interviews were also wonderful to actually hear her voice. And I thought the experts in the piece um, to really create a flow for the piece and and layer on those elements of her life made it very cohesive and really engaging. Documentaries like this show history that we're not being taught, particularly even when we're taught black history, we're very rarely taught the women that were involved outside of Rosa Parks. She's about all we're, we ever are taught in schools. Women like this actually show everything. She's um was an artist. It's one of those stories that you learn as you grow up and get out of college. And she she sounds like she was a really remarkable woman and that the things that she did are still having impacts today. She seems like she was a visionary and everything and that this documentary really educates someone about who she was and everything she did to accomplish. Because it sounds like she was going to college at a time that I didn't think a lot of women were able to go, let alone black women. So it's really remarkable not only for black women but women in general that she was able to accomplish so much in her life that she was really a remarkable woman to show what strength can do and perseverance the artworks and visuals are my favorite part of this documentary piece it really encapsulates the themes and the premise of this film in quite a unique way the film speaks on plenty of themes which are pretty relevant in today's society. And I especially love how it highlights the idea of a black minority presence in a white majority culture and its importance to society and how we, even though there could be a black man in charge, 
it still seems like the white man really has the last to say in things. The film also has a lot of lot to say about the women in charge and how they are how they get overlooked in the public eye, like Harriet Tubman, the Vice President Kamala Harris, and many more. It's pretty evident that there are a lot of that there was a lot of research made into creating this piece. And I appreciate the length the filmmakers have gone to bring such an inspiring piece and educational piece to the forefront that deserves to be played across the world. I loved their opening quote about the definition of art from the perspective of not being a luxury, but a channel through which people's history is thought, passed on, and ultimately defines people's futures based on whatever is told through art. I really enjoyed that. And looking at the film through that perspective really helped me understand more about this character. I love learning about this powerhouse and all these old pictures and footage of Mexico City, my city. And just a quick note, the student massacre was way above 400. That's just the official number. I digress. Uh, this is a true role model and activist. I am glad I now know more about Elizabeth and her magnificent legacy uh, through testimonials and people that were close to her and are scholars of her, of her work and mission of making accessible, relatable art that reflected the truth about her ancestors and their current societal situation. It's well edited, it's well narrated, uh, from the footages to the interviews that included in the documentary. It gives me a whole echo of the story of Elizabeth and how the, a, female, a female person lived her life as an independent, strong woman and as an artist during the 20th century where uh, the intensity of racism and segregation in America is still uh, focused and heightened. And it's really wonderful to see her story. I never known about herself before, so this is going to be a good documentary to open the eyes for Americans out there to understand her story. I am somewhat familiar with the brilliant work of Black artist Elizabeth Catlett, but I was just thrilled to see this documentary about her. The film was both informative and passionate about her incredible work, mostly print work and sculpture. I enjoyed the interviews of people discussing her work, such as academics and curators, in addition to Elizabeth herself. I was intrigued by the historical footage, both photo and video, of the political fight for Black rights and the gradual improvements so that Black artists, especially Black female artists, were given more chances to study and display their awesome work. I love the soundtrack, especially the jazzy trumpet and piano. It was great to view Elizabeth's artwork close up, depicting such a wide variety of Black women over the years, their struggles and triumphs in many settings, 